I plan on doing this other side quest that popped up for Kazuga. Or not Kazuga, ja, god damn it. Kiryu. Sorry, I'm used to playing as Kazuga. And I'm also going to do this Hello Work icon. Then we're going to do Drink Links. And then we'll continue with the story. Sounds decent enough. I did a couple, only a couple of these on screen. I'm over here, so I'm like, eh, I might as well. Yeah. You know what? I actually got enough. Let's do it. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Right. Goodbye. Follow my lead. It's my turn. Okay, this hungry, hungry homeless still have a chance. Did you really think Doing you better win? than I thought. All right. Okay. There's a side quest here. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Hamako-san. Well, if it isn't Saiko. How's business? Breaking in the cash, on? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. Yeah, not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name is Taichi Suzuki. Come on now. What's with the fake name? Huh? Uh, what fake name? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. That awkward introduction of yours made it so obvious. Yeah, he kind of paused when he said, My name is Taiko Saduchi. Was it really that awkward? Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. <laughs> oh. I see how it is. Everyone's already in the know about your alias. Fine then. I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town and you'll end up just like me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or, perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. Hmm. So what's the story? You girls dump Ichiban for a new man? Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. Enough of that. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. Oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? And how do you know Ichiban? How should I put this? Uh, the two of us used to work for the same company. Although we never met back then. Ichiban really respects Suzuki-san. Oh, right, the two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh. You guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right then, Suzuki-san. Why don't you stay a while? Yeah, vacation. A guilty conscience. I really do Just like that sub music. Me. What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? Oh, let's have All right. Tea. Let's have that cup of tea. Now we're talking. Head on upstairs. I'll now, get is it tea right. or booze? Because I know you drank a bit. Not too much, I know, but you did drop on your butt at the beginning of the game because you were drunk. I remember. And that was a year ago. Oh no, it is tea. Mmm, I like to have some actual Japanese tea and think she'd invite me alone for tea. We just met too. So, what does she even do? Is this your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls. But if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, 
I'll have to charge you for that. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We you are running a business. What society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Rio Alki? A few years back, he came to a gene show. He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, yeah, and could live there free of lie. charge and get job training. Sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Rio Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the Grey Zones and everyone in it. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. They got deported. Yeah, they were all arrested and deported. The ones working here now are all new. The kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. That's why they stay here in the Jean Show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you had no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me. But I still went and got myself fooled. I even yelled at Ichiban. Telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. Yeah, that's true, you did. You're not the one at fault, Hamako-san. You wanted to believe in something good happening for the girls that you were supporting, but... Yeah. There's nothing you could have done you couldn't have known. It's real Aoki. I know that, sure. But... Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. <laughs> now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. And I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? <laughs> Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And you were with him until recently. Anyway, did you say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? Let's see. Maybe he did mention something, but I just don't recall. Sorry. Gotcha. I don't think I'll be much help to you, unfortunately. Sorry for taking up your time on my petty little issues. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. Even if you want to forget, you can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're always going to have unfinished business. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. You ought to live and let live. Find joy in the bonds we forge. But it takes work to maintain those relationships. If you feel like you've wronged someone, then you need to make things right. Especially with Kasuga. He's far too used to being overlooked. If you consider him a friend, I hope you can show him that you won't disregard his feelings. <laughs> of course I won't. After all, that man once called me one of his allies. Good. I think I get why you've got Saiko and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. They're doing what? <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? <laughs> well, at any rate, I do feel better after talking to you, Suzuki-san. 
Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. Glad to hear. Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. I don't tell Psycho or anyone about this. You hear? After all, I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. I can't have them think I've gone soft. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Well, that was nice. So she's... Haichi Suzuki, was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, he must be a great man. Yeah, that was a nice one. She still thinks about the girl she deported by because she didn't know, and about yelling at uh, Kazuga because, oh, you should never say anything bad about Ryaki. <sighs> oh. Oh, sweet. I will invite you to my Doko Island once I'm able to do it. You know, it'd be cool if I can actually... Oh, wait, Kazuga's menu. The Doko Island. Oh. Sujiman League. Dossier. Personality. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's see if another side quest popped up. I'm actually enjoying his. They're nice. They're simple. They're... Nope. Um... I don't think there are. They are not. And I can't do the rest because they're locked off. I can go to Kazuka's apartment, or I can get wasted at Survive. Listen, I gotta do the drink link sometime, and a lot of them are ready. Very ready. Heck, I think Psycho's ready to go level 2. The rest are ready to go level 4. I think Namba's actually ready to almost go level 5. Wait, oh no, we got the long loading screen of Doom. I hate it that they locked the changing outfits thing in New Game Plus, but whatever. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. You got it. Go, game, go. Go, game, go. Uh, all right. I get it. I'm going to pause the recording until this loads. Man, lasted like another minute. I hate when the game does that every so once in a while. It's very rare, but it happens. Hmm, memory leak or something. Or my computer's just old. Oh, I just gotta clean it. Gotta clean your PC out every few months. Alright, let me do this since we're here. How much is it? 50,000. Can't do it. This should be easy. Think I'll enjoy this. Let's do it. I won't hold it back. Do it. Mm. Huh. Nothing personal. Yeah. You yeah. Master of smoke. Okay. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Here we go. You want some? Check this out. Beautiful. Wait for it. Damn it, too late. Damn it, once again, too late. I gotta. The timing. Come on. Right before he starts bringing his head down. Nope, too early. I feel so heavy. Follow my lead. Yeah. Finish him. Oh man, damn it. You're kidding. Yeah, the fire got him. Alright, are you shooting an attack or are you gonna fall? I think he's gonna give me this time. Never mind. I won't hold back. Wanna play? Um, 
No, no. You're gonna get stung. Nah. Okay. Here we go. You want some? Follow my lead. Goodbye. Love drunk tycoon. Hey. Is the max level for his skills 10? I wonder. Let me see. Stats, Kiryu. Yeah, 10. Oh, sorry. Stop. Hmm. Oh man, if I can get him to 10. Ooh. I don't know, every time here you starts talking and it gets sad, it's like oh, I'll be fine. a character from Girl PS2 might be nearing his end. Alright, let's buy some armor. We actually need upgrades. I can't keep going forever without him. Commandant's hat, which is really good, but no. Alright, we got my upgrades for everybody. Or me and Namba, I should say. Now let's go to Bonds. I hope you're ready for a good probably half an hour of Bonds, because two Impressive stuff. people are really ready. Uh, let's see. We'll do Psycho first, because she has the least. Also, hey, man. Welcome. By the way, this isn't exactly on the menu, but I recently found myself enjoying herbal tea. It's been brewing some as... I've been brewing some as some ah. sort of hobby. Herbal tea, huh? Correct. I think I'm improving. As a matter of fact, if you bring me herbs, I can give you a sample. Complimentary tea. Ooh, 100 MP. If you like, I be, might be inclined to whip you up some. Uh, wait, wait. No, God, jeez, brain and words work. I might be inclined to whip up something. Whip. I'm putting words there that aren't there. Stop it. <clears throat> If you'd like, I might be inclined to whip something up with any other edible ingredients as well. If you don't mind humoring my efforts. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be great. I'll keep an eye out for ingredients. Okay. Welcome. Alright, let's see what I can make with you. Oh wait, there's uh, one... Oh, damn it. Mm, I was hoping to make that. Oh well. Or actually this. I need seaweed. Uh, I could make this... And I'll just make some of this. There we go. Alright, we are gonna start with Psycho first. Actually, real quick, because I don't know what's about to happen. I just wanna trigger the bed. Oh, wait, what? Like eye drops from two stories up. That'd be from about here, right? Come on, that's just a way of saying something's not gonna happen. Hmm, with no wind, I think it could be done. Hear you, son. Seriously? How high up is the second floor? Three meters or so? Doesn't that sound doable? You seem confident in your eyedrop catching skills, curious son. Put me to the test. Nanba, how's your eyedrop accuracy? Huh? We're... we're doing this? So, kiryu san just stands on the ground floor with his eyes open? Damn it, Nanba. How'd you end up with the fun part? Psycho, we could beat them at this. Go downstairs and hold your eyelids apart. Please, no. <laughs> okay. Nice. Alright, uh, we are starting to use Psycho because you're the newest member of the group and you probably have less to talk about. Wait, I have a feeling I was about to do something before that happened. I don't know what. Weapon crafting? I forget you can... Oh, that just shows your degrees. You can actually craft it here. I don't... Aloha Lynx, that is Ichiban. Oh, man. I got 144 out of 200, and the 200 can then become buddies. Yeah. Pound mm. mates. Still have yet to use you. Alright. Oh, I remember what I was about to do. What music do I have? No, 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 no. Yeah. 
I still gotta play Royale. I've yet to play Shimmy Gamma Tensei 5. I want to play it. Oh, nope. Nope. I'll... I have no idea where this one's from. There it is. I gotta listen to radio shows, but yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, right, Psycho, I'm ready to start with you. I'm done wasting time. All right. Hey there, Kiryu-san. Are you here for a drink? You uh, sure that'll be okay? No need to worry about me. <laughs> oh, please. But since you're already here, there just so happens to be a seat right next to me. Great. I'll take you up on that. So, Psycho, you're a mama over at a cabaret club? I'm not just a mama. I'm the owner of the whole joint. After the previous owner passed away, one thing led to another and I ended up taking over. The younger girls are usually the ones serving the customers, but... Sometimes I lend them a hand, too. <laughs> Guess I should be paying you for this conversation, then. Mm-hmm. Cough it up, mister. But I guess you did help us out before, Kiryu-san, so... <laughs> Let's just call it even. I won't be taking any money from you. Oh, whoops. I should be calling you Suzuki-san instead, right? You know what? Call me Kaz. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's gotta be hard calling me Suzuki all the time. You can call me Kazuma if you want. Um, yeah. I don't think I can do that. Might be a little awkward if the two of us were suddenly on a first name basis. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't have to call me Suzuki, by the way. Just put it out of your mind. Okay, roger that. Eh, yeah. I, I get it. You know, you give off this air of sophistication, even when you're sipping a drink. You look like such a gentleman. Same goes to you. You look like the very picture of elegance, sitting here, drinking alone. <laughs> oh, yeah? <sighs> Maybe working at the club has actually sucked the youth out of me. I'm sure that it takes more than youth and vigor alone to become a successful business owner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that's why the men who come on to me are starting to change up their pickup lines. Really now? How so? Well, they don't stop at dating. And by that, I mean they start hinting at marriage. Or, you know, things like that. Those are some intense customers. They're not like that at all around the younger girls. But I seem to attract a lot of customers like that. The type of guy who's looking to get hitched. Uh, guess that means I'm at the right age for that. People are starting to look at me that way now. Well, you did push away the, sort of the guy who loved you. Actually, get this. One of the guys hitting on me is pretty rich, and he has a lot going for him. Sounds like you don't mind that at all. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Honestly, I'm not looking to get married. I'm plenty satisfied with how my life is right now. On the other hand, there's my twin sister. I keep thinking she needs to tie the knot with her boyfriend and settle down already. I mean, she's at the perfect age to get married. If she doesn't hurry, she'll let the chance slip by. Something's not adding up here. If she's your twin, wouldn't that make her the same age as you? 
I know, I know. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. I'm aware I've just been making excuses, trying to justify myself. As long as you know, I won't comment. <laughs> By the way... Hmm? Did Ichiban say anything about me when you guys were in Hawaii? Let me think. But why do you ask? Are you worried about him? Well, not exactly. I just haven't talked to him in a while. A year. <laughs> he did something that pissed me off. Mm-hmm. And how long is a while? N nah, just leave it. All that matters is that he's doing okay. Besides, this is Ichiban we're talking about. No matter where he goes, I can't imagine him being anything but his stubborn, cheerful self. Hear you, son? What's up? Why'd you get all quiet? Uh... Yeah. If you've got something to say to Kasuga, I'll hear you out. I don't mind playing the messenger. Something I want to say to him? <sighs> I, I can't really think of anything, though. But thank you for that. It doesn't have to be right now. Offer is valid whenever you want. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Yeah, of course. What can I say to that? You know, if I keep spending more time with you, Kasuga might get upset. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not like that at all. The two of us are just friends. Sure. Well, let's drink again sometime. Yeah, you definitely don't have feelings for him. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Not at all. I'd love to, in fact. Just make sure your health doesn't get any worse, Kiryu-san. You got it. I look forward to doing this again. Yeah, same here. It's been fun. Alright, we got one leak. And we can use karaoke fever? Whatever that is. Having awakened his body level 6, Curious Guard has been enhanced to beast style. After guarding the power of Curious physical skills on his next turn will greatly increase. This not only lowers damage taken, but also prepares a devastating counterattack. It can be especially effective when used against strong foes. Nice. Also, hi Psycho, I'm back. Hey, Psycho. Mind if I join you for a drink? Yeah, go ahead. I've been saving this seat just for you, Kiryu-san. Gotta keep an eye on the sickly, you know. Make sure he's not drinking too much. That's so. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask you. When you're hitting on a woman, are you the attentive type? The kind of man who takes care of all of her needs? Hmm, I'd say so, yeah. But not to the point where I'd embarrass myself. Have you ever given someone a bouquet? That's not my style. I've never done that myself, but I think it's actually pretty bold. Okay, but if a guy gave you enough roses to nearly fill your room every single day, that'd be crazy, right? Yes. And crazy expensive to boot. I'm with you there, but maybe I should have tried that back in the day. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Well, I'm sure you could still pull it off, so don't take yourself out of the game just yet. Anyone would be thrilled to get flowers from you, Kiryu-san. Honestly, it's kind of cute when a guy tries his best not to act embarrassed. <laughs> right. Whatever you say. So what's with the rose talk? Did some guy actually try to woo you with a bouquet or two? <laughs> You're pretty sharp, Kiryu-san. That is spot on. I mean, that was a very... <sighs> you must be quite the character, then. Strange question. All right, I'm listening. So what kind of guy is he? He's the CEO of some consulting firm that just started up here in Ijincho. He's young, only like a year older than me. After his first visit to the club, he asked me on a date, and I figured it wouldn't hurt to say yes. 
And ever since then, he's been sending me a ton of roses every day. To my club and to my home. It doesn't really bother me, and I just feel bad if I told him off for it. You shouldn't, though. Was this pretty recent? Yeah, like, since last month. Mm. The guy seems head over heels for you. Those flowers can't be cheap no, either. No, roses aren't cheap. And on top of that, he even slips in stuff like marriage and our future whenever we're having a conversation. Yeah, it's not good. So this CEO guy is the same customer who was pressing you about getting hitched. Yep. I mean, honestly, he was a great guy on our date, and he does seem to know how to treat a woman. He's attentive, and he never runs out of things to talk about. And he's funny, too. Some girls might even call him perfect. Seems like you don't think too badly of Mr. CEO, either. Huh. Does it come off that way? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. What's up? I heard Ichiban is doing just fine over there. He's uh, hanging around with that one girl, right? Chitose-chan? She's jealous. Oh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's she like? Chitose is the daughter of the Fujinomiya, so you could say that she's pretty unique. That's what I've heard too. Being born into a family like that is already way impressive. At first I thought she was just a petty thief. Kasuga and I both got played by her. Chitose-chan more or less stripped Ichiban of everything he owned and threw him out, right? Wasn't he being way too careless? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, he went all the way to Hawaii to meet his mom. <sighs> he should have kept his head on straight. But Kasuga wasn't seduced by her. He only got his drink spiked. On top of that, she told him she was Akane-san's housekeeper. I don't think he had much reason to suspect her. Yeah, he let his guard down. But I wouldn't blame him. Uh-huh. So you are taking Ichiban's side? Oh, no. Be careful what you say, Kiryu. Be careful. Kiryu-san? <laughs> that man oh, never okay. changes. We're good, we're good. I'm not sure if it's because he's gullible or what. It's hard to leave him alone, isn't it? Incredibly. <laughs> I know from personal experience. He bears his heart to anyone, so I'm positive he doesn't look at Chito saying the way you think he does. Does that make you feel any better? What? <laughs> Look, if Ichiban's getting friendly with a cute girl over in Hawaii, I'm happy for him. Really. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. I'll drop <laughs> the subject then. <laughs> and what are you chuckling at? What's so funny, huh? <sighs> that does it. I'm gonna drink all night long. I don't know if it's just your age talking or what, but that calm attitude of yours just pissed me off. Heck, how would you like it if I stripped you down today, Kiryu-san? <laughs> Careful. I'm a sick man, remember? Have mercy on me. Hey, what are you smirking about? She can sometimes do chain attack on downed enemies. Is she done for now? She is. Okay. Now it's time for the... Let me a second... Stats. Uh, both of you are the same, actually, so it doesn't matter. I'll do Songhui. Hey, Sunny. Here you, son. Came here for a drink, did you? They say booze is the best medicine. I don't need to hear your excuses. What you drink is none of my business, after all. I won't comment. Appreciate it. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. Oh, still, I can hardly believe it. The Kazuma Kiryu comes wandering in and sits next to me for a drink. How surreal. It's not that big a deal. I'm just a middle-aged man with graying hair. But you, you're not just the head of the Komi Jewel. You took command of the Yokohama Liumang as well. 
and all your subordinates have entrusted you with their lives. It must be a heavy burden to bear. Huh. You flatter me. That was a burden I've abandoned. Oh yeah, right. That. Yep, you gave up About being 20 years the chairman ago, of the Tojo clan. You retired right after becoming the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Had you not, I wonder if the Tojo clan would have turned out any differently. Hmm, who can say? But the Tojo clan would have disbanded regardless. The times have changed. And I doubt I'd be able to do a single thing about it. Not by myself. If anything, were I still at the top, the Tojo clan might have disbanded much sooner. I didn't have it in me to lead. Do you really think so? Because the way I see it, you just dislike being part of the herd. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you? Oh, I meant no disrespect. It's fine. I wasn't offended. It was actually quite refreshing. Only the head of an organization could speak so bluntly. So long as the underworld abides by its own laws, being the head doesn't mean much. And if someone gets any bright ideas, then all I have to do is stare them down. That's basically everything in the job description. Easy, right? Um... You don't like showing any sort of weakness, do you? The fact that you've managed to shoulder such a heavy burden while keeping your cool is quite impressive, honestly. <laughs> People tell me that all the time, but... It's really not that hard. I enjoy what I do and the position I hold. Of course, it was challenging at the start, but... I didn't need any training to learn a thing or two about leadership. You were the right person for the job. Both the Komi Jewel and the Liu Mang are lucky to have you as their leader. <laughs> I'm honored you think so. You good on time? Oh, there's no way I'm calling it quits when you're still drinking, Kirusan. I'll hang on for as long as I can. Do you always go this hard? Your subordinates must have a tough time keeping up. <laughs> Power harassment is a prominent concern in the underground these days. I never force a subordinate to drink. I won't deny that there's merit in ruling by fear, but you won't last for long with that alone. That all makes sense. It's becoming more and more apparent that you're a natural-born leader. That reminds me, does Komijul still monitor the whole town? All the information you've extracted is the source of Komijul's power, am I right? Right, but it's not like I keep track of every little detail. One of my rules is that my confidant only brings me crucial information. And by confidant, you mean Jungi Han? Of course. He's a very capable man, and one of unwavering loyalty at that. I'd say he's the perfect right-hand man, if only he weren't so snarky. <laughs> but there are others I consider my confidants. Some are even from my father's generation. Hmm. Your father's generation, huh? Must be close to my age, then. You're right. The elders of the organization are like my great and wise uncles. Every now and then, I'll get an earful from them. So even you have something you're afraid of. They were part of the Jingon Mafia before Komi Jewel. Back in their prime, they had a healthy rivalry with the Tojo clan. Probably a little before you made a name for yourself. I've heard a lot about your heroics, so having someone like you sit right next to me is sort of unnerving. What was that? Oh, um, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. The former Jingon Mafia. I hope they don't disapprove of you siding with me. Well, I'm not sure myself how they feel about all this, but even if they do disapprove, I can take care of it. I wouldn't worry about those old gents. After all, what I say goes. Hmm. I'll meet with your elders and speak to them if need be. I wouldn't want you to get in any trouble. Shoo. <laughs> Please don't. That would actually be a bit embarrassing. Let me handle any problems that crop up while you're in town. After all, you are my special guest. 
All right. Thanks, Sunhi. Glad to have you on my side. Ijinjo has been a little too quiet lately. I was honestly hoping for some excitement. Now, with you in town, things are bound to get interesting. Hold on. Are you expecting something dangerous to happen? Not necessarily. A toast, Kiryu-san? Let me welcome you to my town once more. Of course. Welcome to Ijincho, Kazuma Kiryu. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, using his real name next to the bartender like that. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's enjoying herself. Oh, was that the impression you got? It was indeed. Well, just between you and me, I was a nervous wreck. I mean, he's the dragon of Dojima, a living, breathing legend, leagues above me in the underworld. I can't afford to look stupid in front of Kiryu-san, especially as a representative of Ijincho. <gasps> Did I say anything weird to him? Not as far as I know. All right. I won't dwell on it if you say so. <laughs> and I do say so. Imagine me drinking with the Kazuma Kiryu. Just the two of us. Guess I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> mm. Okay, dual impact. Okay. All right, time to talk to you again. Hey, Sonny. Is this seat open? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. As you can see. Oh, she's distracted. Something the matter? You look a little down. Oh, pff, don't mind me. It's nothing you need to be concerned about, Kiryu son. All right. I'll just wait until you feel like talking about the thing I shouldn't be concerned about. Don't mind me. So that's how we're doing this? There's no winning with you, is there? I see. So your officers, these great and wise uncles of yours, are acting suspiciously whenever you're not looking. Yeah, basically. A lot of people in Comey Jewel, the younger members in particular, have been complaining to me, saying they don't know what to do. The elders put up a front when I'm around, but when something goes sideways, they take it out on their younger subordinates. It's unbelievable. If they have a problem with how I run things, then they should say it to my face. It's hard, having to deal with subordinates who are older than you or who may even have more experience. Seems like the Queen of Comey Jewel has some troubles of her own. It... it it's a minor issue, and a personal one at that. It's really nothing you should be concerned about. Those officers are around my age, aren't they? I could lend you a hand if you need it. Oh, no, 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 please don't. <laughs> I am not saying another word so I can at least preserve what's left of my people's dignity. Hmm. You've been nothing but hospitable to me ever since I first stepped foot in this town. It's high time I repay your kindness. Well, unfortunately, this host doesn't accept any form of payment from her guests. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm doing this because I want to. Not only are you my guest, but you know, you're also sick. You should put your health first and foremost. Mm, went straight for the jugular there. There once were three organizations that kept a close eye on this town. Komi Jewel, the Leomong, and the Seiryu clan. While it may have looked like a three-way power struggle on the surface, it was actually intended to prevent outside forces from entering. Compared to the past, Ijincho seems a bit too relaxed nowadays. I suppose as a side effect of the ongoing peace. There's not much I can do about that, but my reputation would take a major hit if you're caught worrying. Yeah, I hear you. Guess that means there's nothing more I can say. I, uh, maybe the alcohol's getting to me. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to come off so persistent. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Perhaps I'm in no position to say this, but... Hmm? I prefer how Eugene Show is now over how it was before. Even the Comey Jewel bunch has become quite social these days. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have. <laughs> yeah, I hear they actually started saying hi to people on the streets. I mean, some of them, of course, not all. Comey Jewel used to have this image of being a secret organization that was always out of sight. Without any rivals around, like the Tojo clan or the Omi Alliance, they're probably enjoying the peace while it lasts. <laughs> I see. Oh, thanks for that, Barkeep. I prefer Ijincho the way it is now, too. Actually, that reminds me. An old regular from Comey Jewel gave me this. What is it? A mask worn by members of our organization. It's modeled after the ones used in traditional Korean performances. We would hide behind a mask whenever we had to get our hands dirty. Right. But the owner of this mask said it's been a long time since he's had to wear it. Eventually, he amicably cut ties with the organization, got married, settled down in this town. He left this mask at the bar, saying he was turning over a new leaf. Looks like Komi Jewel's going through some changes. Still, he shouldn't have given this mask away, much less to an outsider. Maybe I should tighten up operations. Maybe you should loosen up a bit, Sunhi. The way you carry yourself sometimes makes you appear real intimidating. Huh. <laughs> Some would say that's one of my good points, though. Better to look tough so your subordinates know who's in charge. Jungi Han thinks so, too. But, uh, what say you, Kiryu san? Well, your subordinates probably appreciate the fact that you're easy to read. I... <laughs> I... I see. You think so, too. Hmm. These drinks taste even better when I'm with you, Kiryu-san. I was thinking the same thing. I'm supposed to be dead, so... I never thought I'd be able to enjoy a drink like this again. That's why I'm savoring every glass. Because I have a friend to drink with. A friend? You consider me your friend? Of course. Unless that's a problem. Uh, oh, not at all. I'm honored. Hmm. All right. Now, does she have one more? She does. Well, I gotta get going for something, so I will finish all these after. <laughs> hey, Sunhee. Mind if I join you? Of course I don't mind, but... How's your health, Kiryu-san? Just fine. I am limiting my intake, believe it or not. <laughs> Thanks for the concern, though. Mm. Is it really alright for you to spend so much time with us? Will your subordinates manage without you there? I'm sure they'll be okay. There are hardly any issues that require my input. If they need me to get involved, then they know how to reach me. So there's no need to worry about me, Kiryu-san. Your phone's ringing. So it is. Just ignore it. I'm enjoying our time together right now. Uh, but... Uh... See? Now, if it's really important, they'll call again right away. You gonna answer that? <sighs> Nothing could possibly be more important than enjoying a She's drink with Kiri you, Kiryu-san. blind Kiryu her... I appreciate the thought, but now I'm a bit on edge here. <sighs> well, now that that's over, we can finally drink in peace. No need to be so considerate of me. I don't mind if you answer your phone when we're together. But that... that just seems so rude and disrespectful. Like I said... I really don't mind. 
Answer it, please! <sighs> I suppose I have to take this then. Excuse me, Kiryu-san. Yeah, of course. What? This had better be important. Yeah, got it. Bye. Everything okay? What'd they want? All good. Don't worry. It's not a big deal. Just ran into a little bit of trouble. Your subordinates called you multiple times, but it turns out it's no big deal? Yeah, uh, apparently a fire broke out on Komi Jewel Turf. What? Okay, don't get so worked up. It was just a minor fire, but I've been told it might have been deliberate. Some guys from the Liumang roaming the area, allegedly. The Liumang? But I thought they were under your command. Same as Komi Jewel. Yeah, which is why I'm having them look into the matter. Again, no need to concern yourself with this. Well, that's enough of that. Hmm. Don't mind me. I know you want to go. You're worried, right? After all, the ones who started the fire were the Liu Mang. If you get involved, then you'll be dousing the flames, preventing them from becoming even bigger trouble. Okay, you have a good point. I know. But still... I'm done here. If I drink any more, then I won't hear the end of it from Nanba. Go show your face, even for just a second. Your subordinates need you there more than I do here. Fine, fine. Ah, once you've made up your mind, you can be as stubborn as a mule. Guess we'll call it here. All right. And hey, we'll drink again sometime. As long as you're up for it, of course. There's nothing I'd love more. Well, see you. Mm, it's tough having to lead an entire organization. Daigo really had his work cut out for him. Combo attack with allies. Oh, are we done? Alright, I am done with her. Awesome. Okay, now Namba. Please don't be the same as Nas last one. Nah, I doubt it. Hey, Namba. Mind if I join you? Ah, be my guest. Nobody likes drinking alone. Oh, the thing is, Kiryu-san, didn't we talk about this? I'm sorry you have to look after me. That's what it is. Once a nurse, you know. Besides, if it's any better, Ichiban made me promise to look after you, too. Understood. I can stay dry. Tonight, oolong tea only. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. Bartender! So what was it I heard about you all losing your jobs? Oh, that's right, huh? Me, Ichiban, and Adachi-san, we all got the axe. Did you know I was homeless for a period of time? Once you hit a certain age, the job market dries up. Somehow I got this gig even with my employment gap. And then, poof, it was gone. What kind of job was it? Quality inspector. A warehouse for medical equipment. Medicine drew you back in after all. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to consider that medicine. Uh, there were a couple of other stints, but it was all day labor or temp work. The inspection job came with a two-year contract. And my co-workers were decent folks. They actually treated me with a bit of respect for being an old guy. Hmm. You're someone people can rely on. I'm sure they recognize that. A former nurse with a life you've had? That contributes to your character. Ugh, knock it off, Kiryu-san. I want a drinking buddy, not some daily affirmation. Well, I can sympathize with how hard it is to find a job at our age. Losing it on top of everything else is a real shame. The thing is, if you don't mind me saying, it wasn't just the young guys. There was this girl there. 
Look at you. You're about to blush. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you can't blame a man for that, right? She was a little bit careless. She'd make tiny errors here and there. Whenever I'd catch one for her, she'd say, Namba-san, what would I do without you? <laughs> Must have been a pleasant working environment. Hey, I wasn't after anything, okay? I understand. You don't seem like that type. Sheesh. Listen to me, the point is, it might have been a simple job, but it was enough for me. I did good work and I had good colleagues. That's all a guy really needs, isn't it? Especially a homeless guy. A fresh start, I couldn't ask for better. And then, they just pulled me aside and said my contract's up. Don't come back tomorrow. Do they give you a reason? Couldn't be asked to. If they don't extend your deal, that's the long and short of it. That's hardly fair. Yep. So, I went back home, and Ichiban was suddenly all over the internet. Guess I'd made no secret of the fact that I was friends with the hero of Yokohama. Higher-ups must have thought, eh, gotta sweep me under the rug before this shitstorm hits. Kasuga got targeted and you took a stray one. Of course, I don't hold it against him or anything. Ichiban, Adachi-san, we were all set up. As far as I'm concerned, the three of us will always be in this together. You're a remarkable fellow. Not everyone can be so forgiving. Kasuga chooses his friends well. Uh, all this talk should tell you I'm nothing special. Just an old fool. From one old fool to another, I think you're better than you realize. All this talk about you trying to get things back on track. I'm sorry you're saddled with me. Come on. You know it's not like that. Ichiban only asked me to see you home from Hawaii. It's my decision to stick around and have your back. So no more worrying that you're a burden. I'm the one who's embarrassed here. If you say so. I'm grateful. <laughs> so, how about we finish off with a toast? To knocking back tea! <laughs> I'll sip to that. Very breath. Okay. Hey. Hi there, Kiryu san. Mind a bit of company again? Happily, but, you know... No alcohol, right? Understood. Hm. Oolong here isn't bad. You looked lost than thought a moment ago. Eh, maybe. More crap with no easy fix. No simple answers? Well, I'm all ears. You sure? I mean, I don't want to weigh you down. Ah, uh, be warned. You're not leaving until you talk. Oh. Ah, uh, you can be a ham sometimes, Kiryu-san. When I need to be. Out with it. What's going on? I guess I was thinking... No, remembering's more like it. My last job... My colleagues there had a send-off for me. Ah, that was that job inspecting medical equipment? Hey, you remembered. Yeah, that's the one. A whole bunch of them got together, but the mood was dead. Everyone was afraid they'd be next. <sighs> Times are tough out there. Yep. Oh, hey, uh, remember that girl I mentioned? The clumsy one? Of course. You seem to like talking about her. Ah, oh, jeez. I wanted to show you we took a picture together that day. There she is. That's her. Hmm. Miyabi chan making the peace sign. You know, oh, that's cute. she cried when I left. Sounds like a sweet girl. At which point, she wiped the tears away and made sure to tell me we were strictly just friends. Sweet, but not naive. She started out as a secretary. I swear, she could get any man she wanted. Must have been a good environment. Looks that way in the picture. 
Yeah. They all said they had no idea why the company was letting me go. They didn't know Ichiban's little PR emergency had anything to do with someone like me. So I kept my mouth shut and stayed quiet. It was sad, but at least they paid for my drinks. Okay, so why is it you're thinking back on that day now? Uh, the truth is, I should be out looking for a new job. I can't bring myself to, though. Ichiban and Adachi-san, meanwhile, have had to sacrifice way more than I have in all this. When they've got it worse, it's embarrassing to feel so disheartened. Does that make sense? Um... You lost something important. It's all right to be upset. A lot of people never even find one good job with a cute, clumsy girl. Ugh, why did I tell you about her at all? <laughs> Only kidding. Still, it was nice to hear some energy out of you just now. Damn it. You got me there. Anyway, uh, Ichiban and you have really earned my gratitude. Why do you say that? Well, I was unemployed, with no prospects out there. I think I finally realized that the world goes on just the same, with or without me. And then, when I needed it, Ichiban came calling to me for help. Not only that, I even got to lend my assistance to you, Kiryu-san. Being useful, to me, it feels like... salvation. I get it. In that case, I won't be shy if I ever need anything from here on. Good. I'm here for you. Hmm. Well, so far his link is interesting. Now he can tag down the enemies. Sometimes. Alright, now I'm gonna come back. Hmm. Hey, there you are. Hey, I'm waiting for you, curious son. Would you mind hanging out a while? Something happened? Do you remember that girl, Miyabi-chan, from my job? The clumsy one? Oh, look at He's already drinking oolong tea. Nice. So he's not waiting. He is waiting for Kiryu. He's not drinking alcohol, though. Sure, the one who cried at your farewell party. What about her? Well, out of nowhere, I got a call from her not long ago. She wanted to tell me that the company finally explained to them why I was let go. After all this time, huh? Well, they tell everyone. Well, that's the thing. Apparently, they claimed it was due to past misconduct. Meaning what, exactly? They told them, back when I was a nurse, I stole and distributed drugs from the hospital. Is it true that you stole those things? That's hard to believe. But it's not completely impossible, is it? You said that's what the company told them. So then... It's not really the case? Anyway... Fortunately, I made peace a while back with how that whole incident went down. And I disclosed it back when I first applied for the inspection job. So, they accepted it for two years, and suddenly decided to fire me for it. <laughs> By their logic, that is. That's pretty strange. Yeah. It made sense at first, firing me after Ichiban became a liability. As far as they're concerned, a guy like me is not worth any risk to the company. So why didn't they just tell everyone the truth? It doesn't seem to make sense. I wonder, could it be there was another reason they let you go? Huh? Another reason? That Kasuga video might have been popular, but it's flimsy grounds to cost you your job. You're only an inspector. Yeah, he wasn't actually involved in any of the videos. It was mostly Adachi and Kazuga. Namba was even in the picture at that time. Vector, it's not like you represented them to clients. Yeah, you're right. If you fired all the friends of anyone who's ever been roasted online, the world would run out of workers. Maybe there really was something else. Is there anything that comes to mind? No. But, I certainly can't leave it at this now. And maybe it's pointless, considering that job's all in the past. Hmm. 
Pointless to an observer, maybe. But your peace of mind is all that matters. You're damn right. I won't find any peace leaving this behind. So then, what's your plan? I'll have to think about it. Thanks, though, Kiryu son. You've got your own problems. It's fine. We have to look out for each other. That's a decent way of seeing the world. You won't mind if I ask your advice again? When Ichiban's away, I swear, I'm a total wreck. The least I can do is lend you an ear. <laughs> That's all I need. It's always good to have someone who'll listen. Is that it, or does he have one more? All right, we're done with links. Go, 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 go. We're done. <laughs> all right, we'll do all the part-time hero things after. Now it's time to actually get continue with the story. I wonder if there's any side jobs in Kamarocho. Probably. Pirate answer chef task. All right. Let's go to Kazuka's apartment and sleep. I wonder if those locations are going to open up during the day. Those few points I need. Uh, I don't know. Well, time for me to go to sleep. In my third hand apartment. Beginning a new day. Kiryu san. All right, Kiryu san. If we're gonna meet Sawashiro and Ebna, we'll need to take a taxi. We're heading to the Suyu Clan's branch office. I can show you the way. All right. First things first. Ah, oh, yeah, Namba's thing. There's Namba's thing I gotta do, and there's a side quest here, which we are going to do. And. One. Didn't she have one? I'm looking. Alright, we're going to do this first. So I have no idea what's about to happen, but I doubt Sarashiro is going to talk to us. Got a feeling he's just as big as a jerk than ever. This is where Namba wanted to talk, isn't it? most people, this is just another bridge over a dirty river. It's more than that to me, though. Yeah? Well, I think anything can hold sentimental value, depending on what it means to you. I've spent a lot of time just standing here, watching garbage float down river. When I do that, it's like I'm seeing time go by, and it keeps going, no matter what. It's almost telling me don't waste your time feeling down. I have to keep looking forward. This too shall pass. It's a good lesson to learn, even from garbage, Nanba. I'm being serious here, come on. I've been all the way to Hawaii now, but this spot still means the most to me. Ichiban and I met near here too. So, I thought it was only right to share it with you as well. <laughs> Nanba. No, no, not doing that one. I'm not gonna ask if it feels like floating down the river. Here, let me do this. Let me return the favor someday. I'll take you somewhere special to me. Somewhere special to Cosma Kiryu, huh? Now that I've got to see. Don't get too excited. It may not be much more than a bridge over a dirty river. Hell, now I'm even more curious. Looking forward to it. 
Oh, hey. Why don't we take a picture together? To remember today. I doubt I'm likely to forget this, but... All right, let's. Huh, that's a nice picture. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're a good friend, Kiryu-san. You too, Nanopo. I'm counting on you. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, Nanopo, you go! Yes! Alright, give me a second. Sacha. Had to ply. It is daytime. And yet hers isn't there. Hmm. Well, until then, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, yeah, we could do more him, but... Yeah, let's not. I'm gonna travel here and see if that place is still blocked off. If it is, then I'll just have to wait until someone's slightly stronger to get the rest of his memories. His very sad memories. There's a lot of things you forget with what Kiryu's been through. So many friends, allies, so many people. Just gone. Yeah, he still remains. At all. Allow me. Give me a second. Oh, one second. Let me move this down. I can't see. There we go. Um, let me return. Oh, no. Escape. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I can just do this. Uh, I'm gonna get you with benefits. Okay, let's do this. Give him hell. Oh, yeah. My turn. Who look in traffic? That's the point of it. Right. Check this out. I love you guys. There's <laughs> <laughs> a give up. Oh, thanks, man. You're a new party member. Lights, camera, action! I like the new summon system. And by summon system, yeah, I like the way summons are now handled. They're, instead of doing one major attack and being done, they stick around for three turns doing a bunch of other attacks. I actually quite like it. Try this on your side. I love you guys! That's the point of it all. This is the worst. Something wrong? Allow me. Bye. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, thanks, man. You tried. Lights, camera, action. What a blast. It's my turn. I don't know what this is. Oh. Oh, that's really good, actually. Uh, we'll just do a good old Iron Maiden. If I can actually hit this, I give up. Right. We're taking this memory from you. Right there. 
I am really good at dodging that somehow. Okay, you just dug your own grave. I need to go back to bartender. Just got her dolphin bag. It's a good There's rank. more where this came from. Whew. We should relish yes. this moment. Oh, I love stat increases. Okay, here's a memory. Here we go. This here's a high school. This building's pretty nice. Speaking of high school, I wasn't the greatest student, to say the least. I'd cut class to hang out with Nikishi instead. The Shiki. Pretty embarrassing to get back on it. I was the stereotypical delinquent. Maybe if I take my education more seriously, my life would have turned out differently. No, I doubt it. I always wanted to be like Pops, like Cosmo san. That'll never change. In the end, despite all the detours I ended up taking, this is the path I was meant to walk. I remember this. This is my life. All right. Well, we got that one. I am shocked. That means we could probably get the uh, 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 anything. No. We might be able to get this one now that I think about. So I can get all the points. I'm not going to Kamurocho. Those eyes are higher level than here. I went there. Everyone was purple. Everyone. Oh, they're still purple. You know, let's do it. What level are you? 39. Oh, no. Allow me. I'm gonna need. Yeah. 
I mean, it'll break your guard. Wait, what? Really? Hear you? Really? My, my, my attack. My attack was in a... Oh, I didn't move. I mean, I got Namba. Sadly, it's not Kiryu, who is almost dead. Stop being stunned for two seconds. That was great. That was certainly food. That was certainly food. Did you sound any more uninterested in food? That was most certainly food. Well, I'm over here. Might as well beat these guys up. this battle. No. Man, I need to level up and get better. Yeah, his enemies are still purple. 
Yeah, there's a side quest over here. Wait a second. Yes, well done. You're all doing an excellent job carrying out Shure PP. Can you feel yourself accumulating even more Kulipas? I'm getting, it's either Yakuza 0 or Yakuza 1. This same guy did the same thing. <laughs> Just hang in there for a little longer. Now, do you understand? This is true Shure Pipi. Then, with hearts full of naught but gratitude, let us all utter a prayer of thanks. Hectonost. Repenting for the past. Shura Pipi. Han Ost. Didn't those Munan Coep. Cohep honest guys say stuff like that. The ones that fooled a lot of followers into f in following Hiroshima. They were running a psychic business to scam folks, so I stepped in to help a man dissolve the very same cult. The man was Munma Suzuki, their former guru. His former underlings took over while he was serving time for fraud, and then... Moon Masuki, having turned over New Leaf, asked for my help to prevent them from claiming any more victims. And yet... That strange old man leading the group over there looks to be none other than Moon Suzuki. To those of you watching at home, I am Moonon Suzuki. And I once took the world by storm. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about me. Oh, he's a, he's a YouTuber. Maybe he got into streaming to gain new followers? Wait, don't tell me he's trying to revive his cult just so he can make easy money. Not a scratch. Yes? Did you need something? Apologies, but I'm currently in the middle of recording. Fine then. I won't beat around the bush. Are you the Munan Suzuki? Oh, you know who I am. Oh well, that pleases me greatly. But yes, indeed. I am the one and only Munan Suzuki himself. Would you care to join us in practicing Shure Pipi? What's your angle here? Are you trying to spread the teachings of Munan Shoheb Donast again? Pardon me, but might I ask who you are? Were you a victim of the Order's scheme, or...? No, not exactly. Well, if you're here to make a mockery of me, then please excuse me. As I've said earlier, we are in the middle of recording. So you're finding folks online to convert? I heard you were done with that sort of thing. <laughs> Seems you know quite a bit about me. But I'm afraid you have the wrong idea. This isn't about proselytizing. Really now? You say that, but what you're doing here looks pretty suspect to me. I can't stand back and watch if more people are being conned into joining a cult. Well, I'm used to people calling me a sham. I certainly don't blame you for not looking the other way. But rest assured, I no longer pose the same threat you assume I do. Hey, Moonon! What's the holdup? Teach us more about Shure Pipi. Moonon! Over here! Am I getting more Kulipas? <laughs> Shure Pipi! Shure Pipi! See those people? They are merely looky-loos who came to observe a viral internet sensation and not true believers of Munan Chohept Onast. They have only gathered here today because they find me a funny man, not because they worship me as a guru. 
And what's the point of these videos? Well, you see. Oh, found it. The batshit guru of the bullshit religion. What, you think you'll trend? Hmm? No, oh, what now? <laughs> I thought they put you in the slammer for fraud. Shit, man, don't tell me you're brainwashing little kids now. You guys don't have a damn clue, do you? Not a single damn clue about how many lives this phony ruined in the past. Oh, um, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I'm just gonna get going now. Hey, you know these guys? I don't, no. But I get harassed by people like them fairly often. Anyone and everyone can watch my videos after all. They must be aware of my past transgressions, and as such, in their minds, they are the ones exacting justice. The Order of Munan Shoheptonas, was it? The hell are you thinking, spreading videos of this shit? Your anger is not misplaced. But please understand, this is how I intend to atone for my sins. So, good sirs, would you kindly leave me be? I assure you I shall neither disturb the public nor stir up unrest. If you didn't want to kick up trouble, then shitty influencers like you shouldn't even exist in the first place. The order of Koheb aunts left a lot of victims in their wake with their scam of business. So if they're active again, maybe there's no escaping these knuckleheads and their harassment. <laughs> so you want to atone, do you? And how about you go kill yourself? Go jump in front of a train. <laughs> yeah, the ocean's close too. At least you make yourself useful and feed the fishes. You're saying you usually have to deal with this? Then why upload these videos? You're only attracting more attention. Hey, stay out of this, pal. We ain't through with it, not yet. So hurry up and get lost already. You see, the point of my videos is to explain the methods that I myself have once employed as the leader of a cult. And I hope that by uploading them online, they'd be of aid to someone. What do you mean? The Shure PP practice just now is an example of exerting pressure. When faced with a group performing the same action, an individual will feel forced to conform. Shure PP takes away an individual's ability to think for themselves, and how well they perform is reflected as points we call Kulipas. By doing so, we can rank the devotees and tell them that the only way to accumulate more Kulipas is by offering Ringchos. In other words, paying titherance, tithes. That's how a cult rakes in large sums of donations. If I can spread the word about these practices, then new and emerging cults won't be able to prey on innocent people. Ah, Some okay. viewers have even commented on my videos, saying they helped them see through a scam. Bullshit! You're just an ex-convict bragging about your crimes for the views. You think we'd let that slide? I make practically nothing from my videos, and what meager amount I do earn, I donate to a support group for the victims. There is no end to my atonement. I see. So that's what you've been doing. Seriously, old man? Talk about gullible. This guy's a con. No doubt he's making this shit up as he goes, dumbass. He's a threat to society. It's only right we make an example out of him. I trust Munan Suzuki's word. Excuse me for being gullible. Damn it! Let go of me, asshole! Return this man's tripod and apologize. If you want to rave about justice, then at least keep your own manners in check. Cult Guru strikes again. Took no time at all for him to brainwash another sucker. I don't get how people flock to you. You sick fucks give me the creeps! Oh, Bring it on. Didn't expect to be fighting for him after all these years. Uh-oh. Time 
Say it, this isn't gonna go well for me. No begging for mercy now. You're gonna be in a world. What a boy. No choice. <laughs> Too, and I can't exactly block it. Oh, good. All right, me. you guys want to do this, eh? Guess what? Coming. I can't let him here.
If I can get the liquid nitrogen and the fire off first, that'd be great. <laughs> he, 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 he did not hit Kiryu. Wait, that was BS. Kiryu wasn't even near there. Oh, that's annoying. Apparently that hitbox is huge. But Kiryu wasn't even anywhere near there. Great, what a wonderful start because that apparently happened. I'm on the roll. Let's go. It is 
Allow me. Come on, keep moving. Yep, a little more. Goodbye. No, 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 I had it, I had it, I had it. Oh, good, here we go. Pretty bold of you. <laughs> Excuse me, but would you happen to be Kiryu san? We first met in Onomichi, correct? Where we dismantled the cult together, you and I. You've changed quite a bit since then. I apologize for not recognizing you right away. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. My name's not Kirio. What? It's not? That's a little strange. What is? When I said I was atoning for my past sins, you believed me even though you had no reason to. You could have told me I was just all talk, considering the fact that I did time for fraud. But if you were Kiryu-san, then it makes sense why you'd trust my word. When you helped me bring down the cult in Hiroshima, you gave me the push I needed to walk the straight and narrow. I've only gotten this far thanks to you. Do you happen to remember, Kiryu-san, what you said before we went our separate ways? Again, I'm sorry, Munan Suzuki-san. You've got the wrong guy. I should go now. Wait, please, Kiryu-san! It is you, isn't it? For us to have met here of all places, it must have been divine intervention. How do I appear to you now? Do you believe I truly am atoning for my sins? If there really is a divine being out there, I'm sure he'd be lenient on a guy who faces his sins head on. <laughs> so it really is you, Kiryu-san. That's the exact same thing you said the last time we parted ways. Sorry, Munan Suzuki. This is all I can do for you right now. Good luck. I think it's more than enough for him. He just wants to know if atoning for his sins of the past is enough. He's donating all the money. He's making these videos to warn people about it. Yeah. Oh. An S rank. I, I didn't think he had that much money. Sweet. I'll take him. Hmm. Fire. Yeah, the party's looking healthy. Oh, so healthy. Oh, I got the hiccups. Ow. Mm. Oh, give me a second, actually. <laughs> Stop it. I don't want to hiccup. Now it's there. Oh, I had a market. Okay, let's do Sachan's link, and I have all three of them, and I just have to work on getting more Kiryu's memories. But that means I get stronger. Bring back the dragon dojo. First things first. We're eating. I already ate everything here, so let's have all the coffee and a puffet. 
And yeah. Oh. That was great. Certainly food. That was certainly food. How do you got those? All right, we'll power us up. All right, Sachon, we're here. Let's do it. Good. I just love how creamy they make them. Do you come here pretty often? Oh, not too often. This place is still pretty new after all. It's not like I've been coming here my whole life or anything. That right? No, well, either way, it's a good spot. Isn't it? My first time here was with Ichiban and Adachi-san in the game. We were just checking it out. I might not have even come in if not for them. I kind of have a hard time trying new places. I see. Well, it's hard to have a bad time at your favorite spot. But you can also make new discoveries with your friends. I wouldn't have this nice latte if not for you. Yeah, that's true. The guys would drag me to all sorts of new places. Huh. I used to have a good friend who'd do the same thing. He really opened my eyes to the world. Having friends like that can make your world that much bigger. Treasure every moment. And your friend? Uh -oh. Are they... You know what? Never mind. You're right. Every moment. Yeah. Uh, I guess I derailed our cafe conversation a little bit. Sorry. No, not at all. I love learning about you, Kiryu-san. So I'm always happy to hear more. About me? Well, all right. You know, I'm a big riddle guy. Oh, um, okay. Well, do you have a good one? What do a latte and a minor league baseball player have in common? Ah, uh, all right, what is it? In the end, they're both just a cup of coffee. What? That makes... Huh? Uh, oh, right. I don't understand it. Something tells me she didn't get it. But, you know, I was kind of hoping to hear your thoughts and stuff. I don't know if a riddle says much. No, it was cute, wasn't it? <laughs> You're surprisingly playful, Kiryu-san. As long as you enjoy it. Oh, I know. Why don't we take a picture? Taking pictures at fancy cafes is really trendy, you know. Sure, that's fine, but... Aren't you supposed to do that before you drink your latte? Oh... Uh, well, let's just forget about the rules for a sec. Alright, here goes! Hmm. Nice picture. <laughs> Not exactly a masterpiece, but the memory's there, right? Let's keep spending time together, whether that's talking, walking, or taking more pictures, okay? Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. Light as a feather. They give attack food. Very slightly. Yeah. Yeah. That that was great. Attack certainly food. Arigat. Are you sure? Thanks. All right, I think it's time to take the taxi. Um, because there's not much else I can do here. I could go back here and do my links. Wait, yeah, that's new, actually. That wasn't there before. 
At least I don't think that was there before. Oh yeah, the oh our all right, here we go. Survive. It's a great bar, but it doesn't hold a candle to Serena. Huh. I let loose a little too much last time. It's thing like crazy. I don't think Namba and the others are hanging out with me. But that said, karaoke is a, really is a mysterious thing. It's nothing like working up a sweat for fighting or hitting the batting cages. Sure, you still feel exhausted, but in a pleasant way. What's really fascinating is how you might even catch a glimpse of someone's true colors, depending on what song they choose to sing. That's nostalgic. Oh, right. I was the only person singing back then. I'll have to listen to everyone else pick theirs next time. And we have one more. Just one more. <laughs> Guess this is how we're ending it tonight. Are you tired? Link, link, link. Everyone has links. All right. We'll go in order again. Hey, Psycho. Did you just get here? Yeah, but something's been bugging me. Can't even get a nice buzz. You all right? What's bugging you? Uh, it's that whole dating thing we talked about last time. You know, with that consulting firm CEO? Right, him. Still going on about marriage, I take it. That he is. Uh, guess there's no time to rest for the popular. I don't think he drops by the club for fun, either. He's just there, hitting on me the whole time. He doesn't even glance at the younger girls. Sure, he looks like a womanizer, but at least he's got money. His business seems to be doing well, too. I just don't get why he's so focused on me. Hmm. You think he's got an ulterior motive? Hmm. I've got some money saved up, just like anyone else, but this guy's definitely better off than me. So if it's not about the money... And that means he fell for my beauty, charm, and intellect. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Knowing all that, I can say this with full confidence. That man is just crazy for you. Well, even so, I'm not really thinking about marriage. My club might be on the small side, but I like being able to run things my way. I've even told him myself that I'm not planning to get married. But he's pressing so hard. It makes me wonder if he's after something, you know? Hmm. Is it safe to assume that he's probably got some kind of hidden motive? Does he happen to know about Because it past is a little creepy. Hmm. Tell me more about this guy. I might be able to figure out what he's up to that way. Hmm. I looked into him myself, but I didn't find anything too sketchy. This guy is. Well, I told you that he founded a consulting firm, right? But he's also the son of a CEO of another large company. Judging by his background alone, you could say he's set for life. But even though he's wealthy, he tries not to rely on his parents. It seems like he really struggled on his own for a while. You know, it's starting to sound like you admire the guy. It's easy to figure out who's struggled in life once you get a conversation rolling. In that respect, he's not just another rich kid. He can be serious, but he can also let loose and have fun. I think people like him are pretty reliable. Ugh, I've had enough rose bouquets for a lifetime, though. Now, this is just something my imagination cooked up. But I can see Kazuka doing his own thing with roses, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna get him anywhere, though, because he doesn't understand what really matters. Well, at least with him, he wouldn't have to worry about a hidden motive. He'd make it too obvious. He's not such a bad guy. Uh, okay. You know, here you son. Sounds to me like you're trying to talk him up. Let me guess. You heard something, didn't you? Like, 
Oh, I don't know. How Ichiban asked me out on a date? I want to hear your side of the story. I've only overheard Kazuga and Nanba talking. So nobody told you anything about it? Well, we were pretty busy over in Hawaii. We had to rush through an entire laundry list of things to get them done. Now I finally have room to breathe. And to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Sounds like something happened on your date? He proposed. Yeah. Sure was something. He proposed to me on her first date of all things. No kidding. That's a very Kasuga thing to do. But I assume it didn't go well, considering you're not on speaking terms. It did not, no. Ichiban just kept going on and on about what he wanted us to be when we got married. Obviously shows how much he's thought about it. Yeah, I know he can be a bit awkward when it comes to this kind of stuff. But honestly speaking, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. But you weren't against a proposal? Well... We've known each other for a long time. I guess Ichiban figured his feelings wouldn't change. Not then, and not in the future. Hmm, so I take it you didn't completely hate the idea. Well... Truth be told, it got my heart fluttering. I'm pretty sure that I was feeling just as nervous as Ichiban was that day. No kidding. Right now, I'm the one getting all worked up listening to this. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh, enough of that. Seriously, how do we always end up talking about Ichiban when we're drinking together? Yeah, I guess we do. Ugh, let's talk about your love life for a change, Kirisa. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Anything new with you? I've been a sick, lonely man for a good while now, but... I had my fair share of romance in the past. Oh, yeah? I'm listening. Well, a long time ago. Soon after I was placed in foster care. She arrived. The moment I laid eyes on her, I felt something special between us. In the past, I was innocent, eager. But then... But then? Uh, <clears throat> it'll take me more than a day or two to get through this story. That and, uh, I'm starting to doze off. What? Seriously? That is so not fair. I'll make time to tell you the whole story. Once I'm in better shape. Uh-huh, sure. And when will that be? I'm gonna have you schedule that for a later date, then. <laughs> Don't ask for the impossible. Once you get to my age, you never know when you'll be in good shape again. <laughs> Don't give me such a half-assed excuse, then. Complain all you want. I'm not budging. All right. Sunhee, what happened with that small fire? The one where the Liu Mang set fire to Komijol turf. Oh, thanks for your concern, but I'd rather talk about literally anything else. There's some dissent within Ijincho, just something I have to deal with as a leader. Just nothing you should be worried about. No can do. You shouldn't have to shoulder that burden all by yourself. Why don't you lay it on me? You mentioned before, there aren't many people who can drink with you as equals. I did say that, but... Ugh, screw it. There really is no winning with you. Honestly, I didn't want to air out our dirty laundry in front of you. Hmm, so it was arson. But nobody saw who did it. Right. All we know right now is that the culprit was fully aware they were setting fire to Comey Jewel Turf. Don't you find that a little strange? Well, how so? If I remember correctly, your subordinate didn't hesitate to tell you that the Liu Mang was behind it. But how could they call them out without an eyewitness account? So you've noticed. 
Impressive. Ah, uh, long story short, the accusations against the Liumong are false. There's no evidence pointing to the perp, so it's all bullshit. But someone managed to escalate that BS to me without having to go through any filters. That's the real problem. What do you mean? I'm saying the lie originated within Comi Jewel, among the top brass at that. In other words, one of the Comi Jewel officers tried to deceive you with a false report. Precisely. He probably made his underlings start the fire, then spread the rumor that the Liumong was behind it. This act of betrayal only serves to escalate tension between Komijul and the Liumong. I can't turn a blind eye to it. You're right. One wrong move and it'll lead to an all-out war between the two of them. Truth is, some people aren't too happy to see Komi Jewel and the Leomong getting along. Yeah, we saw that in the last By game. By deepening the division and sowing discord, they'll be able to pin the blame on me for failing to take action. That's the traitor's end goal. He wants to chase me out and seize my throne to rule Komi Jewel himself. You managed to dig all that up? Then did you find out who the traitor is? I did, actually. He got sloppy when leaking the rumor. Turns out the traitor is the eldest of Komi Jewel's officers. His name is Han Chulsa. So, that's him there, huh? One of my great and wise uncles I've talked about before. Hm. At his age, he should be thinking about retirement. Guess he wanted to make a name for himself before going out. By betraying you, no less. If he's the oldest, then the two of you must go way back. I'm sorry to hear that. I understand why you didn't want to talk about it now. Yet I still opened up about everything from start to finish. <laughs> Just how do you do it, Kiryu-san? I only hope you feel a little better after talking about it. Ugh, this is such a mess. I really didn't want you to see me like this. I can't believe I just spilled everything to you. Was Han Chul Sa dissatisfied about something? I doubt he'd plan a coup for no reason. I can't think of anything. Except for the fact that I'm younger than him, and a woman. Considering he's a man who's faced countless adversities in battle, perhaps he doesn't want to end up under a leader like me. Most old men probably would think so. I've received the same report from different sources stating that Han Chul Sa is secretly rallying people to rebel. Saying crap like Sun He is capable for a woman, sure, but weak-willed, and other people are more suited to lead. So he's been working the rumor mill. I can find out anything and everything that happens in Ijincho. Han Chul Sa won't be able to keep up with the information warfare. But people look up to him as a legend of the past. My generation grew up listening to stories of his heroics. He once fought to the death with the Tojo clan back in its heyday. I never thought he would ever become my enemy. A man too full of pride as a man stuck in time, unable to move on. Nothing more than a relic of the past. Huh. Yeah, that old man's far too reckless for his own good. Oh, but... He's older than you, Kiryu-san. Much older. You're not even in the same age group. You don't have to force yourself to say that. More importantly, what do you plan to do about him? As the head, it's up to you to decide how to deal with traitors. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to talk about this with you, Kiryu-san. Truth be told, I haven't made up my mind yet. Hmm... It's a tough call to make, given how complicated the situation is. A leader needs to be able to make snap decisions for the good of the organization. I just... I need time, though. This is a difficult situation, but knowing you understand that is... reassuring. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Sharing your suspicions with someone else does help clear things up. Yeah, it certainly seems so. 
I'm sure you have other things to do, though. Your own problems are even more pressing than mine. I don't want to cause you any trouble, so... So? Can we just drink and talk about something stupid now? Sure. What better way is there to booze? <laughs> you really do get me. Always have. All right. Is that the only one that she has? Does she have another? All right, number. And then this should be it for now. Last time we spoke, Namba wanted to find the real reason he got fired from his job. Hey, Namba. Let's see taken. Hey, it's all yours. Fill me in. Any new developments? <laughs> Thanks for remembering. As it happens, that girl, Miyabi-chan, asked me out to drinks to talk. I take it this wasn't exactly a date, though. Did you learn anything? Hey, you're too quick, Kiryu san. Don't cut me off the knees. So it turns out, she called because the company's explanation for firing me jogged her memory. Oh? Originally, she was secretary to an executive there. Then the company transferred her to inspections, despite her having no training there. Explains a lot, actually. Why she seemed so mistake prone, that is. Maybe she wasn't just clumsy like we thought. You were the same. The company treated you both like objects. Yep. What's more, now it gets interesting. Her transfer and my firing were done by the same person. So there's a mastermind at work. Uh, that's an extravagant way of putting it, but yes. Turns out he's the one she was secretary to. Take a look at this here. He's on the homepage of the company. <laughs> Did she see something shot. she shouldn't have? Guy's also a serial sexual harasser. He was pressuring Miyabi-chan to become his mistress. But she wouldn't do it, and she reported his behavior to human resources. That was courageous of her. But... Yeah. She did everything right. Unsurprisingly, asshole gets a slap on the wrist. Company docks his pay for a few months. Yeah. At which point, he starts getting spiteful. How do you mean? Soon, Miyabi-chan loses her secretary position and gets transferred to inspections. They tell her it's just routine human resources allocation. It's simply best for business. So she ended up in the same warehouse as me. All because this guy couldn't take rejection. And if she complained about any of it, the company could claim it had sided with her already, right? Yeah, the harasser doesn't even quit after that. He'd stop by every so often just to peek at her. Until one day when he caught her talking to me. Saw her smiling. He flips out, gets jealous over it. Next thing you know, I've been shit canned. That's it. Not the video or my past misconduct. Like you said, Kiryu san, there had to be another reason. Well, wow, that's simple. Some of the these private you companies are no better than Yakuza, smile. I found. What's the situation now then? Have things gotten any worse since you were fired? Uh, they have. Apparently he started stalking the Abichan now. Completely unabashedly. So, no one's gonna stop him? Yeah, pretty much the case. Well, what are you gonna do about it? curious on what do you think? I'm lost, I need some advice here. Let's go beat him up. There's only one way to handle these things. Listen to your heart. Deep down, you already know the right thing to do. Yeah, maybe so. I can't just walk away and do nothing, I guess, at any rate. I'm not the cleanliest person, but someone has to take out the trash. Okay, then. Kiryu-san, thanks for this. You've helped me sort a few things out. Really? If that's so, I'm happy for you. <laughs> You're damn fine company to drink with. I appreciate you hearing me out. Say, why don't we toast with a real drink? Ha! <laughs> uh, you 
You almost had me there. I love how he drinks, so I get, I'll call everyone else, but because Naba cares so much about what he's drinking, we drink oolong tea. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so probably the next one is his last one, which will probably be us dealing with her. Oh god, that is awful sounding. Yeah, we're gonna deal with her probably. Her next one, we're gonna deal with a guy, and then... Uh, her next two, we're gonna be dealing with a rich boyfriend and finding out more about the dark past of him, probably. But yeah, probably. Probably, probably, probably. But, until hey. then, I am going That's to hit shit. the hay. It's already getting late. Got to go soon. Gym and all that. Weekend, boo boo. But yeah, I'm gonna play more of this. I'm enjoying it. I also gotta do more of the bucket list stuff. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I really am. This game is really good so far. It has its flaws.